I hope that I'm not the only one feeling chilled about that and feeling the need for us as leaders of UC to make a statement and tell those students we hear you and that is not acceptable. We know that there's been a rash recently of acts of intimidation and hate that are making our Jewish students feel uncomfortable and we need to recognize that. To not recognize why this um, subject is even being brought up is to do a disservice to those who brought it up in the first place. Let's walk in the shoes of the people who feel oppressed. Let's understand why they do that. And let's do something about it. Something real. This is a really troublesome place that I find us in right now. The previous presentation brought up a lot of things that I think should be included in the determination as to what this statement ought to say. To this statement of intolerance that essentially says nothing. Doesn't say anything about anything. The statement of principles under consideration was supposed to address campus anti-Semitism. Not only doesn't it define the problem, it doesn't even mention the word anti-Semitism. The proposed statement of principles will do nothing to mitigate the serious anti-Semitic bigotry that Jewish students currently face on UC campuses. As a student, I was not protected. A Holocaust memorial was vandalized. Defaced with several swastikas. And the phrase, Hitler did nothing wrong. The phrase, growled out the Jews. The graffiti read, Zionists should be sent back to the gas chamber. My friend was called a Zionist kike. Jewish students were threatened and physically assaulted. When I was physically assaulted, in the elevator for wearing a Jewish star. A Jewish student had a rock thrown at his head. He said it was the Zionist Jews who were responsible for 9-11. Absolutely no one should ever be compelled to hide their identity for fear of repercussion. The malicious intent behind anti-Zionism is despicable. It's a direct call to violence. It is anti-Semitic and has no place anywhere, especially in our university. There is an unprecedented level of consensus among the Jewish community. 78% of Jewish students across America believe that denying Israel's right to exist is a form of anti-Semitism. Among the larger Jewish community, the percentages are even higher. We know better than to depend on others to stand up for us. So we are here to stand up for ourselves. Hineinu. We are here and we hope you'll listen to what we have to say. Thank you.